Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. My name is Brian, your host and commentator. I'm gonna head on into the Prospector Saloon because we're doing Ghost Town Hello. Gunfight. Feeling thirsty? This episode. I can take care of that. We're gonna chat it up with Trudy real quick. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Again. About a week ago, this traitor, wah, wah. Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Ah, the joke's on you now, isn't it? Where's Ringo now? Quest He's holed up at the abandoned gunfight. gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. You don't say the Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. You can't just make the shit NCR up. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big yeah, escape NCR not too long ago. For that one. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. They goofy That's for that one. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind. I want to talk about something else. <laughs> this is boring me. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh, would you? Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, they do. So, I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. <laughs> yep, you'd get on their good side. Yeah, the people be, around here wouldn't quite appreciate silly me, it wouldn't one it? bit. Who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict. I demand to know. Just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder Gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. And plenty more, huh? Okay, so yeah, we're going to do the broken radio thing next episode in the Good Springs Town episode. Be careful it's out there. It's kind of part of like the whole gather all the experience points in the episode thing that I like to do. So we're going to head on out here. We're going to go to that, that gas station and uh, see what's... We're going to go meet Ringo. Just like we did last episode. Joe Cobb's standing over there by the by the thing. If you talk to Ringo and then go talk to Joe Cobb, he's gonna be like, nah, you friendly with Ringo. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you two jerking each other off over at the gas station. I ain't so I'll I'll show that off. I'll demonstrate that once we get this Ringo combo out of the way, because then that that fails the run good springs run quest but i don't know if it actually pops up as failed. that's close enough whoa pal who are you and what do you want with me i'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking sorry about the gun <laughs> you just caught me off guard that's all ah, yeah you got off to a bad start to people sometimes let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan you know how to play i do not this is how they kind of like shoehorn in the the game just to kind of Introduce it to the players. You know what are the rules it's of caravan? It's a two-player game, gonna talk to them and about the winner it. takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards deck in your out deck. Of talking to him about it. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't them see bits. caravan in any casino. You got them bids, man. Too slow paced. Them bids, and more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holiday. Bids on bids. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. Dude just so, carries around spare decks. You feel like playing a game? For caravan. Where can I find just more cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale too. Well, you can. I don't have time for a All game right. right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to save your ass. All right. So before we ask him about that, what do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. Oh, I didn't I'm know that. That's why I asked. Staying in town for a bit. I see. Did you want something else? <laughs> like I said, I'm not from Good Springs. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I don't know why it lets you ask again, silly. Can you tell me anything about Good Springs? Well, I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Yeah, sounds good. Tell me more about the Crimson Caravan Company, then. It's been in business for a very long time, and it's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Sounds spicy. Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. 
Ah, oh, he looked like a bitch. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger <laughs> he's problem right. once his friends show up. Well, he's been making There's the right no way call I can then, handle I guess. all of them in a gunfight. Um, why are the Powder Gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of, of the them. bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. What are you going to do about the Powder Gangers then? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw ah, me to the low layers. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You don't think I could handle myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Fair point. I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Sounds good. Sounds Gucci, man. Let's go ahead and snag this Boxing Times magazine in here. There's also a doctor's bag. Off to that side, empty box. Nothing else really on this shelving unit. There's a fission battery over here. Weighs six, but it's value 75, so it's not too bad for right now, especially because I'm going to gonna sell a bunch of shit next episode when we do the town episode itself. 20 some bottle caps. Cool. I'll take this car of cigarettes. These are owned by... Ringo, so don't take those. You can check these. Sometimes there's some good shit. Rad X. Make sure you grab all the Rad X and especially Rad Away that you find because we're going to need it for an area coming up. You can check out this duffel bag that I'm assuming is his, but he doesn't seem to mind that we're in it. Programmer's Digest. Ooh, this is kind of random what's in this duffel bag, by the way. As you guys saw in the last episode, if you watched the Run Good Springs Run episode. See, that's the episode where I get the energy cells and then I didn't really... No, I guess I used them during the end. Of that and the big fight. We got a safe over here, an easy one, so we're gonna lockpick this. Skill is easily high enough, 62. Oh my god. Alright. Can't be that bad at this. Bottle caps. Gauge. It's Gauge. Some dude on the phone I was talking to about Gauge, he was pronouncing it Gauge. He's like, yeah, the 12 Gauge. Rad X, rebound, steady. Ooh. Not bad. I like I do like the item pickup, except for the no energy cells, but that's fine. We're gonna get plenty of energy cells here coming up. Let's go talk to Sunny. Sunny smiles. She does smile a lot. She pretty. We're gonna go over here. I'm just, I was doing like some weird slide like side. I was like whizz, just like walking diagonally like this. I downloaded a mod that gets rid of the tick. When you're in first person, there's like a tick. Normally, it's a, a small stutter that is noticeable if you're looking for it, but I got rid of that with a mod. It's cool stuff. Yo, Sunny Buns. I got a proposition hey. for you. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. That would be great. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Get all these optional Convincing objectives Trudy here. that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. So, barter check. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. So we have four checks that we got to make. All of them are 25 for the skill. So I'm goodbye. She'll be waiting. All right, let's go talk to Trudy real quick since she's right here. Get her on board. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. Planning on it's taking on. It's a big on, risk, I but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. So we have two options here. You can do a speech or a sneak. You can't do them both. You have to choose one or the other. 
I'm gonna do the sneak one because there's very few instances of sneak like speech checks yes <laughs> and uh, this is one of them so this is why I, I put the the tag into sneak so I could get this anyways yeah let's go ahead and do it near the saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush if I had the help that does sound like a good plan yeah it does. all right you seem to know what you're doing you know so you're you can count me in so bad let me have a word with a few other folks and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating while everyone does own a gun we could stand to be a little better equipped the general store probably has what we need in stock. Yeah, she's ready to kick some powder gang her ass. Be careful out there. I will. You be careful out there too, Trudy. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, I haven't unlocked that door yet. That door is locked back there. Okay, Easy Pete's just chilling over here. He's like, I'm Howdy. just chilling, man. What can Easy Pete do for I'm you? I'm just chilling. We know about Joe Cobb. Bad trouble. Bad trouble. Ooh, that's helpful. Welcome. Um, I think I might. All right, yeah, here. I heard you got dynamite. It would help us be the powder gangers. Too dangerous. <laughs> Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. This is a 25 explosive speech check. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. Dig it you up have it get by the time the fighting uh -huh. starts. <laughs> All right. Um. You know what? I'll just go through the his speech dialogue right now. The one in the suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. I've already Word kind of, of talked to everyone though, except Chat. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Cold Can't eyes. Can't be trusted. I'd say. Sounds good. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You are a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Well, that's good. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. What's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Okay. What do you use the bighorners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Lazy bastards. And find a bunch of wild ones. Supposed to be beasts hills, of burden. But gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Okay, that's it. Keep Goodbye. your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. It's just those giant mantises that we killed earlier <laughs> in the in the on the trail by the campfire quest. Let's go talk to Joe Cobb real quick. He should be just chilling over here. He's like, oh, I'm just chilling, man. I think you can kill him preemptively. But, uh, the Powder Gangers will still attack. We're just gonna follow through on the qu whole quest as normal. What do you want, Nat? What say I help you take over this town? No. 
I got a funny feeling about you, and there's no way I'm trusting you to watch my back. Okay, then. Alright, so where should we go next? We got those two. So we have Dog Mitchell. Oh, I know what we need to do while we're over here. So we can go talk to Victor real quick. We're going to trigger something. It's a uh, science skill check. You can talk to him about joining the fight. And he's like, yeah, I'll be there, but he actually won't be there. And there's something in his programming that stops him from doing that. So once he's not there and the fight resolves, we'll come back over here and talk to him. And we'll do a uh, science skill check too. Get some more experience points and figure out what the fuck happened. Howdy, partner. Are you decent in a fight? I could use more firepower if you have any. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Sounds good. You'll for sure be there, right? Okay, gotcha. Let's get scooting along, fucking big horner. We'll go talk to Doc Mitchell and get some medical supplies. He gives you the first set, which I believe are stim packs for free. And then uh, you can pass a 25 medicine check to get some doctor's bags from him. I believe it is like two doctor's bags. So that's going to be the next round of we do. Oh, doctor, doctor, give me the news. Welcome back. The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Tell me all about it, brother. I'm not much good in a fight. We have the same mustache. Leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. There'll be... Oh, it's a Medicine 30. Ooh. That's fine, because we had a Medicine 30 check earlier. So you should have Medicine 30 if you've been following along, because that was in the first episode we had a Medicine 30 check with this guy. But they'll be using explosives. Do you have something more for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Sick. So it's a 30-point experience increase. Well, 27 for me because I have the skill to trait, but that's fine. Experience points are plenty. Now we got to go talk to Chet real quick, and after him, that's that's it. We just go talk to Ringo, I guess, and uh, we begin the quest. Now, this is where I'm going to do some crazy shit. Uh, let's talk to chat real quick. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Alright, so I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. So yeah, you can, uh, I think you can give them a thousand caps if you have it, but you can also pass a 25 barter check saying, let them take over the town then, I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Totally understand. So we're gonna... You know, let's ask if Chris. Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to save these other options for <laughs> the town episode. What I'm going to do right now is go to weapons and get boxing gloves. If there aren't any boxing gloves, there should be boxing tape that you can buy that will suffice. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Because we're going to fight the Powder Gangers, right? But if you don't kill any of the Powder Gangers, then you only become shunned rather than, like, vilified or hated by them. So, and that's all of them, right? I think we can just go straight to Ringo now. Turn to Ringo, yeah. Alright. So, but what the boxing gloves do is it allows me to... Here, I'm going to need to... Do this again. What the boxing gloves allow me to do is uh, they allow me to knock people out, so it makes it easier for... So I'm not really damaging... You know, I'm damaging them, but I'm not going to accidentally kill them. And I can knock them out so the NPCs can shoot them. Now, you, you give up the experience points, which it isn't much, you know. It's not a whole lot of experience points that you're giving up on by doing it this way. Um, but yeah, we will, we'll, we'll still be able to do the quests for the Powder Gangers at the NCR Correctional Facility. So what's if, going on? If Did you Sonny do things agree to this way, us? I guess. <laughs> Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. 
Nah, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Oh, I didn't get to do the Trudy option. That's fine. It doesn't really add anything. Let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Five dynamites. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Let's do this. Oh yeah, here we go. Did 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 did. I'm gonna be using some chems for this fight too. So we trot on down. So you got some other good spring settlers. Um, Trudy and Sunny are the only two NPCs here that fight with the the town. We have hey. plenty of people. There's seven on six. We got this. Um, I think I'll keep my unarmed magazine. I used it in the last episode. I'm not gonna do that though in this one. Let's see, I'm gonna use buff out, medex. I don't really need psycho. Yeah, that might be it. Might be all I need. So the town will, for the most part, win this fight on their own. But I run over here and knock Joe Cobb out because I think he does the most damage out of all of them. With his gun, he has like a magnum or something. Some sort of six shooter. You like that? Remember, we don't want to kill any of them. If you kill one, then that then you automatically get that reputation um, decrease. So we want to avoid that so we can still do the quest. You can do the quest if you side with the powder gang as we did in the last episode. Because they like you, but it looks like the town's got him, yep. Joe Cobb's still. So they got all the other guys. All we have left is Joe Cobb here. Oh no, there's a guy up there, it looks like. Alright, get him. There you go. Get his ass, Ringo. I'm gonna loot this guy while Ringo's killing that other dude. Three dynamite, I'll take that. There we go. Get him, guys. Get him. Oh, light him up. Dead. All right, cool. Idolize. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Shunned. You left a poor impression on the community. It may be shunned as a result. So we're not vilified. They don't hate us. That's good. I owe you a huge talk. favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson <laughs> Caravan forward. money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Sounds good. Then you can, you know, play caravan with them. Have some settlers over there. Let's talk to Sonny That'll real quick. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Groove. I think Trudy has something to say too, but she must have already went inside perhaps. Just need to make sure she didn't die. Oh, she's over here. Cool. Okay, yeah, so they didn't die. Good. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Me too, Trude. Me too. Okay, so yeah, there's that. We still have to go talk to Victor real quick. Victor real quick there. Um, I'm gonna loot these bodies. Though along the way, get a lot of dynamite from these guys. Uh, yeah, that's right. Joe Cobb has a stealth boy on. We're going to get another stealth boy, too, in the uh, schoolhouse. Okay, one, two, and there's one up there. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's all six of them. Cool. Let's go talk to Victor real quick. Victor real quick, dear. I didn't rest and make it daytime like I did in the last episode. Or wait, I guess, not rest. But that's okay. That was just more so because I knew that it wasn't going to be the canon version of things so I was like whatever we'll probably start next episode up in this area too as we explore Good Springs exploring Victor's shack first I'm guessing so let's talk to him real quick howdy partner so when did the wrestlers show up they were here the fight's over really I must have dozed off although that's never happened before all right we got a 25 science check here there may be data corruption in one of your memory chips let me take a look all right. 
But put everything back the way you found it. Will do. Um, sh override command 16 dash delta. Does that mean anything to you? Figure someone shut you down deliberately. But there's no record of who. Interesting. It looks like an override command was activated. Never heard of it. I truly am sorry I couldn't help you, partner. Was there something else you wanted no, to talk not. about? No, you're not. Shut up. Alright, goodbye. You're a robot. You don't have feelings. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I think I'm going to rest in Victor's shack. And then uh, next episode will begin in the daytime. So I'm going to thank you all for watching. My name's Brian. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.